Did you know that silk is made from caterpillars? I don't think it's a secret anymore. Although in China, it's been kept a closely guarded secret for centuries. Did you know how these very silkworm caterpillars are grown? And the fact that they completely lost the ability to fly after humans appeared in their lives? This is Proxima. I think this process will surprise you for sure. All professional cultivation of silkworms for the production of silk begins with the purchase of silkworm eggs. At the beginning, they're black and very small, so much so that they fit in a shoebox. But where do these eggs come from? We researched this issue and found out that when the female reaches the required maturation, mating begins, which lasts from six to eight hours and lays approximately 300 to 400 eggs, after which she dies. These eggs are bought by production, but if they grow them themselves, they begin the process of silk production. The eggs have a kind of flattened oval shape, up to one and a half centimeters long. So, having these eggs, they're first sorted and given time to hatch into caterpillars that are about 0.6 centimeters in size. The second stage is cultivation and feeding. Newly hatched caterpillars are placed on a clean cloth, paper tray, or wooden frame in separate clean rooms. They feed on the leaves of mulberry trees. Occasionally, they can add leaves of orange trees. But the quality of silk is higher when feeding only mulberry leaves. Small caterpillars are fed 12 times a day with fresh and cut leaves. When the caterpillars grow up, feeding is reduced to seven times a day with whole sheets. Throughout this period of growth, the caterpillars do not just sleep, but actively molt. And in the first stages of development, you can see their hairiness. And we remind you to like this video. It'll help us to search for new amazing topics. It's important to observe sanitary and hygienic standards because the caterpillars are very sensitive to temperature, humidity, and the cleanliness of the litter. The room with caterpillars should always be warm from 21 degrees Celsius. In some cases, it even reaches 35 degrees Celsius. Humidity should not be less than 60 to 70 percent. To create conditions for the silkworm to make a cocoon, you need to constantly ventilate the room and monitor the change of litter when the caterpillar grows. After four to six weeks of feeding and care, the caterpillar reaches its maximum size of seven and a half to eight centimeters. All this time, it's white. But when its tail turns yellow, the caterpillar stops eating the leaves. It turns completely yellow and begins to weave a cocoon. At the weaving stage, all caterpillars are moved to separate wooden pallets, and the most interesting thing happens there. For two days, protein filaments are released from the glands of this caterpillar, which quickly solidifies upon contact with air. Then, for four whole days, the caterpillar makes head movements that fold these threads into a cocoon. The finished cocoon is approximately 3,000 meters of twisted thread. The shape of the cocoon resembles an elongated oval, and depending on the climate and the type of caterpillars, the color may differ. But all productions make sure that the color is white. When the cocoon has formed, you need to remove the caterpillar from the thread with the help of hot air or hot water. After all, in a natural process, after 16 days, the caterpillar would grow further to hatch into a butterfly. Thus, the precious integrity of the cocoon is preserved. After all, the cocoons are treated with hot air and water. This hot water weakens the effect of the protein, and the thread will be pliable to be softened for the silk thread to be twisted. To create a fabric, the thread is additionally treated with hot water. The fabric becomes very soft because all the protein leaves the composition. It takes about 2,500 cocoons to produce 500 grams of silk. Was it interesting for you to learn something new? Let us know in the comments and we'll be happy to chat.